all my life. I'm back. <laughs> I had to start it that own, way. Like, you could get your own line of merch just for that. Just for that. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. Speaking of merch, so I've just come back. So Bailey and I have had a couple of nights away. The first one, I'm going to share a little bit in this video of the stay that we had at Linthwaite House courtesy of our wonderful wonderful visitor who came last year so i'll just share a bit of that cause, just because it's beautiful we then spent a lot of time in the apple store and hopefully we're on track to getting all the it sorted out or at least one element of it but i've come back Frey's having a fabulous friday yeah, exactly. in the sunshine yeah. yeah any dramas no no it's only three o'clock though there's a few hours yeah. left to go yeah but there was a whole pile of boxes in the office one of the most exciting things is something that Frey added to the wish list a little while ago and jody is going to be she delighted is. with this i've not taken it out of the packaging this is the lemure saddle pad it's got memory foam at the front here is especially for the Niki news Sure. And a really lovely week forecast. Jodie will be getting her out and I'm sure we'll be putting that into practice. The other things we've got, and I'm not sure who they're from, we have the Kevin Bacon hoof dressing, which we love. It's really, really nice stuff. More treats for the boys and girls, which I've got a feeling that these may be from Mary. And those of you who are on our behind the scenes Facebook group will know about these already. These have been created by Angela Anderson. How gorgeous are these? So this one in particular is Nero's tail hair inside a little glass bottle that's been sealed with his rainbow colours in a heart and a little Tibetan lucky horse on the side. And Angela has very kindly made a range of these for Nero, Teddy Bear and Angel Eyes. Now I've got my perfect greeting from Annie. She always knickers and says hello. So I'll just come over and give her neck scratches. I miss them when I'm not around. And she's in here with Teddy Bear today because they've been banned from their freedom privileges because our, our little rather flimsy barriers down towards the driveway are kind of falling apart. So. And he's not very happy about being inside. But Frey's going to look out on Marketplace for some replacement barriers so that we can get something else across there. So that you can go free reign again. Oh, Annie, are you not happy about it? At least you got sunshine. And Tamara's here very, very happy. Why are you happy, Tamara? My new tool arrived today and and it's been hard at work already but the battery's run flat so i've got to go and change the battery oh i haven't seen you smile like that for a while it's lovely <laughs> you're funny <laughs> i mentioned that we were coming away for the night and this is the very very beautiful place that we've come to and it's linthwaite house hotel um, but you can see how very very beautiful the room is here but even more beautiful are the gardens and the artwork around this hotel is just stunning. And when I first came here, because I came to the beautiful restaurant Henrock, which is one of Simon Rogan's, what struck me was the artwork and the animals. And you could tell that the whole place had been done by somebody who clearly had an affinity with animals. And I'll show you a little bit more as we go round. Obviously, very beautiful bathroom. Which, you know, when you live in a static caravan, these are the sorts of things that I get very excited about. You know, to be in a beautiful place like this. Bailey's decided that he wants to sleep on the floor. Does that mean that I get the whole bed to myself? Uh -uh. <laughs>
we've had a walk around the very, very beautiful gardens here at Linthwaite. And of course, to all Tamara's thinking about, go on. I just want to plant lots of trees at the farm. <laughs> and have lots of beautiful pathways everywhere, which we'd, we'd all love because, you know, we love everybody walking around the place, but the paths at the moment are very muddy and grubby. So Bailey, it's your mission to chip more wood like we've got over here this summer so we can start getting some pathways in so that people can walk around and see the beauty of our farm too. <laughs> We're back in our little damp house, the static, at the Yay. top of the arena and as beautiful as Linthwaite House was and it, it truly is a stunning place and it was just really nice to be clean. We've got one of the best views out here. Okay, it's wet and it's muddy, but if I pan round to the side here, look, we've got some of the beasties wandering around. Out there is Teddy, Micah, uh, who else have we got down there? Have we got four or five out? I think we might have five out, so Holland and, and Frey. Oh, little Jubbers is out there as well. So that's Micah on the right, Teddy Bear on the left. I'm not quite sure who's down next to the arena, but I would imagine it includes Annie, Wren, and probably Dow. And then we've got the Sheepies up over there. All wet and soggy, but they look happy enough. And it is officially spring now. <laughs> Does that make you happy, Bailey? No, I want winter. You want winter? I what like, do you want? Do you I want like, more rain? No, but my favourite months are autumn and winter. Mm, they're not mine. <laughs> I, I prefer I, spring. I just like autumn and winter because I, I prefer cold weather and hot weather because hot weather makes me really nauseous. Yeah, I don't mind cold weather at all. I'm just not a fan of the rain. And the mud. With cold weather, you can just you can keep piling on layers, but you can with, do. But with hot layers, there's only so many layers you can take off. Bailey and I have made it to the Trafford Centre and the Apple Store. It's very very busy here because it's a Saturday. We've come down to the Trafford Centre. I don't do busy areas very well, so it's been a little a little stressful. But we come in. Mike here has been hugely helpful along with manager Lucia. Yeah. We've got a whole list of things that we're going to try and get in place to sort out my data storage problems, my videoing problems, and the speed in which I can do things. And hopefully within a week to 10 days, we'll have a whole new MacBook Pro. Yeah, a whole new setup. Everything will be sorted. It'll all be interesting for you. As efficient as possible, so I might even get more videos out. There we go. Yeah. So <laughs> Everyone's thank, a winner there. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mike. I really no appreciate all your help. That's okay. okay. With Rob, with Bear, he's done his shockwave therapy and he'll be back again in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much.